Okay, well this is, a, this is a modular synthesizer and we are going to get some sounds on it and then we will be comparing them to our C4 synth pedal. So we're going to be building up the sound a piece at a time. So can, can you talk about how, I mean, some of these things create the sound, others control the sound, and others color the sound. An example of creating the sound, like which of these creates the sound? Well, the oscillators are the things that do most of that. An oscillator is a module which produces uh, a certain waveform at a certain frequency. We can listen to them. Yeah. A triangle. A sawtooth. Much brighter. A square wave. Characteristic hollow sound of a square wave. A sine wave a pure tone. So now let's check out the different oscillators in the C4. First, we're going to listen to a sine wave. Sine wave is the simplest tone. Uh, there are no harmonics. Now here is the square wave. The square wave has a lot more harmonics, but it's missing all the even harmonics. That's what gives it its characteristic sound. And now we have the sawtooth oscillator. This is also quite bright, and it has all harmonics present. And uh, we're going to use the saw to create our preset. So the next thing we're going to do after listening to the saw would be to control this from the keyboard. So the keyboard puts out a control voltage which appears here, this thing labeled key, and put it into the one volt per octave input. And now we can play that sound on the keyboard. So here on our pedal, we've got uh, a choice of various waveforms. And here we've chosen a sawtooth. Okay. All right, so this is no envelope. So now we're going to use a second oscillator, also driven by the keyboard control voltage. And now we have to go into a mixer. And the other oscillator into the mixer. And these are tuned to uh, about a fifth. Pretty close to a fifth. They track together. The next thing one might want to do is to have some envelope control so the note will turn off. It's appropriate in most kinds of music, not, not all. <laughs> so to do that, we've taken our two sawtooths, combined them in a mixer, taken the output of the mixer, and gone into a voltage controlled amplifier whose gain is controlled by this ADSR. Attack, decay, sustain, and release. It's an envelope generator. And now we're going to listen to it. So now we're going to add an envelope to our C4 preset. Just like on the keyboard synth, the envelope controls the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the note. But the guitar is providing the pitch. And now we're going to add a second voice, like we did on the synthesizer. So for this voice, we're going to select the saw 2 oscillator, and we're going to set the interval to a perfect fourth. Now we want both voices controlled by the same envelope, so we'll make sure they're both set to envelope 1. Now we are going to insert a filter onto the uh, sum of the two 
sawtooths. The filter, you can give it a, a, a sense of natural struck instruments that tend to get uh, be brighter on the attack and then the high frequencies decay faster than the low frequencies. We're going to take the, uh, the mixer output and feed it into this filter. Then we're going to take the two-pole low-pass output of the filter and go in here. So what we really need to do uh, is to make the filter open up with the envelope, the same envelope that's doing the amplitude control. So to do that, this control voltage goes into the filter control voltage, and now we will hear the filter. <laughs> Now we want to add a filter to our C4 preset. So we'll go down to the filter section. So to replicate the two-pole low-pass filter, we'll take filter number two, which happens to be a two-pole low-pass. We can set the depth of modulation, and we can set the frequency starting point, and we can set the Q, which is how much resonance there is. And we're using the same envelope that's assigned to the amplitude modulation. So we'll set the uh, envelope the filter envelope also to envelope one. Again, that's repeating what we had done on the analog synthesizer. So we're now going to add some modulation, and we're going to use the, there's an LFO, a low frequency oscillator, built into this keyboard, as you see and we're just going to increase the vibrato depth and we will now hear a little bit more animation in the sound. Now what is the purpose of like wires hanging on your keyboard? Oh they just make it easier to play. <laughs> One gets used to it. Uh -huh. um, you they won't have, have that. In the C4? You won't have any of those problems on the C4. <laughs> you will not have to deal with any of this. Uh -huh. All right, so now we want to select the modulate detune option for both of the voices. The detune value sets the depth of the pitch modulation, and I'll set the rate down here in the LFO section. Now we're looking for a smooth modulation to do vibrato with, so we'll select a sine wave from the LFO. And then we set the modulation speed with the LFO speed. And here's what that sounds like. All right, well now we're going to Instead of the two sawtooth waves we're using, we're going to just use some square waves. It's a very easy change here. I just have to move these plugs. And now it sounds like this. So on the C4, now we can change both voices to a square wave oscillator. And, uh, and this is the sound we get now. Ooh, that's some nice low end. Right? Yeah.